The quickest and easiest way to add the classic cinematic black bars in Final Cut Pro X is to go to Effects and under Stylize find the letterbox effect. Drag and drop the effect onto your footage. The effect will be subtle at first, so next in the inspector panel you can adjust the scope of the resolution. Here you can make the letterbox wider or narrower as required by changing the aspect ratio. The ratio of 2351 is a popular choice to get the classic letterbox look. You can also use the offset tool here to help reframe your shot to work best in the new letterbox ratio. To apply the same letterbox effect to all of your clips, first copy the clip with your letterbox effect. Next, select all the clips you wish to apply the letterbox effect to, and in the menu, go to Edit Paste Attributes. A new window will appear where you can confirm which attributes you wish to copy. With letterbox selected, click Paste, and this will apply the chosen letterbox effect to all of your clips. Using the built-in letterbox effect in Final Cut may cause issues with the black bars moving or changing size. There are two methods to avoid this. Firstly, you can create the black bars yourself within Final Cut. Click on the Titles and Generators button in the top left-hand corner. Click on Generators. Locate Custom and drag and drop two of these custom black solids on separate layers above your video clip. Select the top custom solid and in the inspector window click the compositing tab, open the crop option and increase the top crop. In this 4K timeline we're cropping by 1800 pixels. Select the bottom custom solid, navigate to the crop options and crop the bottom by the same amount. You will have now created your letterbox effect and you can adjust this further as required to increase or decrease the crop and also make sure you extend both solids to be the full length of your video. The second method involves using a pre-created template for the letterbox, and you can find a free one linked in the description below. These templates can be imported into Final Cut and simply dropped on top of your footage to create the letterbox effect. To create the popular effect where the cinematic black bars animate and move off screen on a single clip, firstly select your clip and crop the top and bottom of your clip by the same amount to create the black bars effect. Next, drag your playhead to where you want the animation to start and click the square next to the top and bottom options to set keyframes. Drag your playhead to where you want the animation to end and change the crop for both the top and bottom to zero. Keyframes will automatically be set. Your animation will now be created. If you wish to speed up or slow down the effect, you will need to modify the distance between the keyframes. Right click on your clip and select show video animation. Your keyframes for the crop animation will be displayed under trim and you can increase or decrease the distance between the two keyframes to speed up or slow down the animation as required. If you wish to create the popular effect where the letterbox opening occurs across multiple clips, first go to Titles and Generators, click on Generators and locate Custom. Drag two custom generators on separate channels above your clips. Then select the top custom solid and crop the top to 1800 pixels. Select the bottom custom solid and crop the bottom option by 1800 pixels also. Make sure both solids are lined up and are the correct length on your timeline. Drag your playhead to where you want the animation to start. Select the top solid and click the box next to the top crop option to set a keyframe. Select the bottom solid and do the same with the bottom crop option. Next, drag your playhead to where you want the animation to end. Select the top solid and increase the crop so that the black bars disappear off screen. And again, do the same with the bottom solid. Keyframes will automatically be set and your animation will be created. If you wish to change the position of the keyframes, right click on the solid and select show video animation. Here you can move the trim keyframes to speed up or slow down the animation. Just ensure you are moving both the top and bottom keyframes to the same position.